All right, so I've calmed down a bit from my impressions uh, of Microsoft's E3 press conference. And now I'm ready to talk about Sony's E3 press conference. And it's a little more distant from me now. Also, the Microsoft press conference, I've been able to sort of process a little bit more in my head. So I can hopefully give a little more calm, a little more professional thoughts video on Sony. Let's stay calm. But holy fucking God, Last Guardians, Final Fantasy 7 and Shenmue 3 and... How can you put so many unlikely things in one freaking press conference? This is something that people would say as a really bold prediction. Say like, oh, we're finally going to see The Last Guardian on the Sony press conference. It's just... It, it, it's just been this... Like, kind of almost this joke. Like, it's never going to happen. And uh, how did this game show up? And Final Fantasy VII Remake? Didn't, didn't, they, didn't Square just ruin that whole hope a few months ago on PSX? Was it PSX? And just a few months later, they're, they're doing it right. They're... Like, giving the fans what they actually wanted. And Shenmue 3. Like, those those three things were just shocking. Because they're things that you wouldn't really expect at all. But the three big bombs in one conference. That's insane. And then we had Uncharted 4, which is looking too great. It's, uh, like... Uh, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is freaking fantastic, but I... I can't choose one over, over the other. Tomb Raider and Uncharted are not as similar as people think they are. Tomb Raider is a much more Metroid-like game. And Uncharted is more action-focused. The destruction is insane. It's like like Battlefield. It means you can like drive a car now. And if you drive into a box, you just drive right through it. You destroy everything in your path. Which is pretty great, because... That makes the whole driving experience a lot better. Like, I see Batman Arkham Knight is doing it as well. Just destroying every fence you drive through, every box. Just because we can do it now with this new technology. It can be done. And that area in Uncharted 4 is a lot larger than anything I've seen in any of the previous Uncharted games. Yet it's delayed till next year. And they still decided to show off Uncharted 4. They didn't pull off a Nintendo here and said no Zelda. I have a hard time remembering everything from the Sony press conference. There were those three bombs that really surprised me. Last Guardian, Final Fantasy VII Remake. Even though I'm not a big fan of Final Fantasy at all, I really don't care about this game, but I think it's, it's absolutely great. It's great you're finally giving the fans what they want. And Shenmue 3 never played any of them, but I think it's absolutely fantastic that it might be made. I thought Dreams was kind of interesting. Now, not Rareware Project Dream, but a little game from the developers of Little Big Planet, who are making a kind of 3D Little Big Planet, I suppose. I'm not sure if you'll be able to make games out of this or if it's just going to be animations, because that's what we've seen so far. We saw a guy playing on a piano or something, and then his head turning into a polar bear. Well, okay, it's odd, but. You know, I'm certain you'll be able to, you know, spawn a character and run around, make your own little 3D platforming levels. Oh, wait, did I say 3D platforming? Oh, God, that, does, that doesn't exist anymore. That word, that term does not exist. So I, I suppose not. I suppose you can't create a 3D platformer character because, you know, 3D platformers are irrelevant now. Fuck, I didn't mention that the Microsoft press conference didn't have any banjo game. Nor a battle toads. You know, why did they make the Thieves MMO kind of game or I don't know what... Yeah, I know I'm talking about Microsoft now, but why did they make that? Rare, you got so many IPs. There's no reason why Rare should make a new IP. They... None of the original developers are there anymore. Rare is just a name holding a lot of IPs. There's no reason for them to make a new IP. No reason at all. Back to Sony, they also show what the Killzone guys had made. I don't remember the name of that game right now, but it's a sort of post-apocalyptic future where robots have taken over and cities are covered in grass and you are shooting dinosaur-like robot creatures 
with a sort of laser bow and arrow. Uh, it it sounds insane. It's the the just the idea, just saying it out loud. It sounds absolutely insane, and the graphics are outstandingly beautiful. It's insane how fast developers have managed to adapt to this new technology. So um, I think I've talked about the most important things there. I don't remember anything else off the top of my head. Oh yeah, No Man's Sky. It has huge potential to be great. It could also be a really stale piece of crap. But I have high hopes for No Man's Sky and Sony. They show up a lot of great stuff. It was freaking great. I think both Sony and Microsoft's press conferences were equally as great in their own ways. Microsoft showed that they were able to change. They had backwards compatibility and they showed that they're going to have a, a much better fall than when they launched. Sony, on the other hand, doesn't seem to have any fall lined up. I don't really know. Is maybe No Man's Sky coming out this fall. There really isn't anything huge on Sony's side. So, like, Microsoft has to sell better this fall. It has to. I mean, well, surely not in Japan because Japanese don't buy products from outside of Japan. That's just how it is. But this is going to be Microsoft's fall, I think. Next year is going to be Sony's turn with Uncharted 4. But then Zelda on the Wii U is also coming. Maybe, maybe Nintendo will be able to turn its luck a little bit. I kind of thought I was going to get myself an Xbox One this fall. But now I'm actually a bit more doubtful. Maybe I'll just screw it and wait till next year and get a PlayStation 4 at some point. But I'm certainly not going to get a PlayStation 4 this fall because there's nothing coming out for it. So either I'm getting an Xbox One this fall or I'll wait till next year and pick up a PlayStation 4. So I can play games like Uncharted 4. And whatever else is coming out. Last Guardian's coming out next year. So that's that. I I also watch yeah, EA and Ubisoft. EA had a lot of sports, like I think a, a full hour of dedicated to sports. Star Wars Battlefront looked cool, but it's probably going to be filled with microtransactions. Mirror's Edge looks freaking amazing. I, I cannot wait to play Mirror's Edge. Ubisoft didn't really have a whole lot that excited me. Um, no, no, really nothing at all, actually. The, all the Tom Clancy games do look cool, but there's a little too many of them. Like, who the fuck is Tom Clancy anyway? Oh well, I'm done ranting. I'll see you in my Nintendo E3 press conference opinion video.